Hi, Candace. Hi. Hi, Dr. Geller. Hi, Alyssa. How are you both? Doing great. great. We're great. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate it. It's our pleasure. Dr. Geller, what is hypothyroidism? Well, thank you again, by the way, for having us on, and we're really happy to be part of this campaign with Abby to talk about hypothyroidism. You know, it's a condition that affects millions and millions of people in America, many of whom are undiagnosed. It's a condition where the thyroid gland, which is a little gland here in our neck, starts to fail, and people develop quite a few s symptoms, many of which are really, um, you know, disrupting to their quality of life. What are some of the most common symptoms? Well, the most common symptoms that we see are fatigue, uh, constipation, uh, feeling cold. Uh, people often develop puffiness around their eyes or their hands and feet. They may notice uh, dry skin, brittle nails, hair loss. These are the most common things that we see. Who is at risk for hypothyroidism? Well, the, the greatest risk factor that we know of is uh, people who have autoimmune conditions, people who have family history uh, of other family members with thyroid disease. It's much more common in women, about five to eight times more common in women, and uh, more common in people who have had any radiation to their head or neck, for example, for cancer treatment, um, patients who are on certain medications that can affect the thyroid gland, or people who have had uh, surgery to remove the thyroid gland. How is the diagnosis made? We make the diagnosis by meeting with a patient, going through all the symptoms, examining their thyroid gland uh, with our hands and sometimes doing an ultrasound to look at the gland and then ultimately with a blood test that we do that's called TSH which is a marker of uh, your thyroid levels in the blood. Melissa, what, it, what symptoms did you experience? Well just like Dr. Geller said I had quite a few of those ex symptoms. Um, I had uh, brittle nails, dry hair, I had severe GI issues, I was um, tired all the time and I couldn't really explain why I just was. Um, I had brain fog, um, forgetfulness. Um, I had a plethora of symptoms, um, but I didn't really attribute it to anything. I had kind of compartmentalized it and just pretty much ignored it. Um, so yeah, it wasn't until I went into my doctor for uh, a regular checkup. Um, it had nothing to do with my thyroid, um, but she felt my neck and said, ma'am, your thyroid's swollen. And they sent me down for blood work, and about a week later they gave me a call and let me know that I had hypothyroidism. And what is your daily routine like now? Um, that was something the doctor really emphasized was my routine and sticking to it. And part of that is making sure that I take my medication um, every morning with a bottle of water and wait about 30 minutes to an hour before I have anything to eat or drink. And the other important thing is making sure that with that diagnosis that when I go to pick up, pick up my medication that I'm getting exactly what was prescribed. Do you have any advice for people living with hypothyroidism? Uh, definitely. The, the biggest piece of advice that I can offer is, you know, if you think you have it or if you have symptoms, go and talk to your doctor. You know, open that conversation up so that you have that relationship and, you know, get on a personal basis with them so that they can help you. And Dr. Geller, what are management options? Well, the management options for thyroid hormone uh, is basically thyroid hormone replacement. And so this is available in a pill form that patients take once a day in the morning on an empty stomach, and it's typically a lifelong, you know, commitment. So, again, it's really important to set up a routine uh, to take it every day at the same time, not skipping a dose, and letting your physician know if you're on any other medicines, any other supplements, or you have any other new health conditions. And do either of you have any additional tips or information they could share with us? Well, you know, we'd love to refer people to the website, www.ourmorningroutine.com. This is a great site full of information about hypothyroidism, the right symptoms for patients to look for, the questions they should bring to their doctor. There's stories on there like Alyssa's from other patients as well and other doctors. And we really want to get the word out. We really want people to understand also that if they are on thyroid hormone, it's critical that they get what their physician is prescribing them. When they go to the pharmacy, if it's not correct, they need to speak up and they need to let their doctor know.